Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. As you can see from the title, today's video is going to be actually one of my really highly requested ones, which is ways to style a satin skirt. Now, usually I do about six in these series, but today you've got eight. So I've tried to incorporate a range of really casual outfits, smart casual, and then a few that are a little bit more dressy, because I think with satin skirts, it's really easy to fall straight into just wearing them for dressy occasions, but actually they can be dressed down really easily as well. So this is a few outfits that I've been loving personally, and ones that I've kind of put together recently that I'm aiming to wear in the future with things that I already own. So hopefully this gives you a lot of inspiration for diving into your wardrobe, trying to rewear some of those pieces. Maybe you already have a satin skirt that you want to wear or you're thinking about buying one but just need a bit of inspiration for styling it. But this is a satin skirt I've got. I have this one in this color which is like a gorgeous creamy white and then I also have a khaki one. These are both Topshop from ASOS but they're currently unavailable. They're a couple of years old now so I'll link similar down in the description box like a couple of different ones that are gorgeous. I also do have a black one which I picked up from Vinted that cost me five pounds so highly recommend having a browse on there as well but they are just a really gorgeous simple easy thing to style so without further ado we're going to get in and I'm going to show you the outfits. All of the links will be down in the description box or similar things if that item is not currently available so happy shopping, happy browsing and happy styling. You may have seen this outfit before because it's one that I wear quite often when I want something really simple and really tonal in the summer. So I've just gone for a very like cream outfit, but it kind of works really well. So we've got these shoes, which are actually boo- Oh, I'm falling over because the carpet's really wobbly. These are actually Boohoo from a while ago and they're really gorgeous. They're just very nice and simple. We've got satin skirt, which is again, just a really big classic of mine. I love the satin skirts. That's why I decided to do this video because I think there's so many styling options, but sometimes you get a bit stuck on wearing them the same ways. Then I've got a little bandeau top on, which I think just looks Looks really nice in the summer with the skirt. I absolutely love this combination, I think it's gorgeous. Then we've got the white blazer, as I say, and the bag. So all creamy white tones, but not all the same exact tone, which is a really great way to style pieces if you are someone who maybe doesn't love color, but you wanna maybe mix some textures and tones together because I think sometimes we get really caught in like not wanting to wear all white. So like maybe putting a black blazer on and contrasting it up or maybe having like a slightly different color on another piece where actually you can do all of one color and it can look really nice all together. Quite an unexpected one for a satin skirt, but I really do think you can dress them down so nicely. So I've gone for my Make Thread t-shirt. This is the one with the text on the back. If you want them, they are available. I think they're still on limited stock, but 100% recommend. They're so gorgeous. They're sustainable. They're thick cotton. They're obviously my collection as well. So always will highly recommend. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Then I've just got the satin skirt and I've gone for Vans. I don't wear my Vans too much anymore. I did go through a stage a couple of years ago where I wore them 24 seven, but I do really like them. I think they look great with jeans and stuff, but I definitely get them out more so at this time of year. So I thought I'd pop those on and then just a black bag. So we've dressed it down, but it kind of gives, where this is like an outfit I typically wear with like jeans, for example, it kind of dresses up the t-shirt, but dresses down the skirt, which is really nice. So it's just quite classic. I also do have a green satin skirt and a black one as well. I think the green would look really cool with this. Black maybe is a bit too dark, but the green I think would be absolutely stunning. And I think it's just a really nice, very simple, but very dressed down way to wear a satin skirt that I maybe hadn't thought of that much before, but it's really cute. I really like it. I think it's just such a vibe. This is kind of like a good one if you're just going for, I don't know, like a simple dinner with friends or maybe you're going out on the weekend and you just want to chuck something on that's really nice. It makes you feel good, but it's comfortable. So like, for example, I think we're going out to like a cafe with James's family in a couple of weeks, probably a garden center browse, that kind of thing. So this would be quite good for that because it's comfy, but it still looks really nice. Maybe not the garden center actually, because I'm thinking if I pick up plants, like probably going to get something somewhere. <laughs> Guys, <sighs> I'm just obsessed. I literally love waistcoats so much. I don't know when it happened, but I'm so obsessed with them. I think they just look so great with outfits. And even if they become a trend that's like a bygone era, for me, they're going to be timeless. I honestly, like this kind of outfit is just so simple. And I feel like I could wear this even in like 10 years time, if I went to dinner or something with friends, like this would just be such a classic. So let's pray for me that I stay this size for another 10 years, because if so, we're keeping the outfits guys. Like I plan to just be this size forever and then I'll just be able to wear all my clothes forever. But I've got my little Luna bag here, which we all know that I love loads. This does come with different straps. So this is just putting the two clasps together just so you can see, I've just like tied it together. Whereas the other time that I wear it is normally like the shoulder bag one, but it does come with a crossbody too. So I'll leave that linked if you're interested. I've got a cream one on the way actually that I can't wait to get because I think cream will be gorgeous. But I kind of like that it's more like a little baguette 
like little croissant bag and then obviously we've got the skirt and we've got some little boots the boots i do think you could change up for um some heels or something if you wanted to or maybe some sandals because i keep standing on the edge of this carpet and me falling over um, i feel like you could change it for sandals or something if you wanted to but i just thought because we are in spring and it's not really that warm yet chucking a blazer over this with the boots and the bag is a really gorgeous way to wear it but equally it could go into spring if you just mixed up the shoes a little bit with some cute little sandals We've gone a bit dressed down, but the big scrunchies are definitely happening around here. I'm obsessed with them. I think they look so cool. So we've got the big scrunchie, white tee, satin skirt, giant denim jacket, which I absolutely love. I love wearing my denim jacket, especially because it's so massive. It just looks really cool with a lot of outfits, especially with the satin skirt. I think it just gives a little bit of something else. I've gone for my little Birkenstock Boston vibes. These are actually from Saint and Sphere, but I can never find them. So I'll link similar if I can, because these, I don't think they do anymore, but they do have similar in like new look and stuff. And then just the brown bag again, with the leopard scrunchie so leopard scrunchie kind of adds a bit of something if I had like a trainer with brown detailing in I think I would go for that but I don't so I thought these were quite a good option but just a really nice simple easy dress down outfit again I could wear this with like a plain white skirt or a different color like it's really easy to mix and match and stuff I think actually if you had like a light pink one it could be quite nice with this but yeah just a nice really simple way to to wear the satin skirt okay this one's great for again changing up the accessories and changing up the look for the seasons so easily you could swap the sandals that I've got on for something a little bit more closed toe if it's not so hot outside or equally something a little bit more minimal if that's your vibe these are the Hermes dupes from Ego I'm gonna get some cream ones this year as well they do like a really nice like soft stony color I actually need to order them quickly because they do sell out quite a lot um, but they're really comfortable I wore them a lot in Bali and they just honestly were the best things ever skirt obviously we've got this little cropped knit that I've had for years from ASOS I'll find similar if I can but it's really difficult to find similar to because it's just so like it's simple but it's really hard to find similar to which is really annoying the vintage Burberry blazer again we'll find similar but I just really liked the contrast of the black with the oversized blazer and I think sometimes with a satin skirt if you wear it a little bit kind of more mid-rise like this with a little crop top chucking on a big oversized blazer and a bag like this is such a good one for a kind of meeting or a dressed up lunch or something where you don't want to be too fancy but you still want to wear something really nice and my aim for the moment is to try and find ways to wear my wardrobe differently as we know already I've talked about it loads but I also want to find ways to wear my wardrobe that are different to me just wearing like similar things every day because as much as I make all these outfits whenever it comes to getting dressed sometimes I just forget that I'm good at doing this <laughs> and then I end up just wearing the same things so I think it'll be nice to get more wear out of this in a more casual way as well as just dressing it up all the time because it is such a stunning piece that, that can definitely get a lot of wear obviously team with the little black bag again this is the Uniqlo 29.95 one that I share all the time it fits my Kindle in which is why I got it I just wanted a bag that was quite smart fit my stuff in for every day but also my Kindle for journeys into London and then yeah very cute little minimal vibe outfit so this one is very dressed up, probably one of the more dressy ones of the video, if not the most dressy one. So we've got my little black Jacquemus because it's just gorgeous. I've gone for this top, which I don't know if you can really tell from a distance, but it's like a mesh, mesh top with the little shoulder detailing. So it's got like a... I don't know if you can really see but it's got like a flower and then these little like floaty bits and then obviously the satin skirt we've got some little mini slingbacks which are just gorgeous very nice and simple and the flower detail just adds like a little bit of something to a very simple outfit very sexy and to be honest one that I'd wear on like holidays or date nights and stuff because it is just a bit more dressy not something you can necessarily dress up loads like you couldn't really wear this to like something super fancy but you could wear it for like a nice dressed up cocktails or dinner or like a function with friends where you're maybe being a bit bit smarter or a date night or something so yeah very very cute and again you could easily pop some little flat sandals with this one and dress it down a tiny bit or you know if you're just not a heels girl these are honestly these are 35 pounds from MS. i have them in silver too and they're just they're a dream <laughs> okay this one is a very classic me vibe with the skirt this is kind of how i wear it a lot so just chucking on a jumper with some docks with a little bag very good if you're going out for like a sunday roast or something i wore this vibe a lot over christmas so christmas day i actually did wear a jumper with this skirt and it just looks really nice and simple it's very like classic easy no fuss kind of vibe and then i just thought wearing the brown bag with the black boots just broke it up a little bit from being too high contrast and add something else we've also got a little like dark brown clip in my hair as well which is just nice and simple again just breaking up the outfit making it look a little bit different trying something new with my hair and stuff because I feel like I always I always do these videos with my hair down and sometimes I think I wouldn't style it that way necessarily so I wanted to show you some different ways that maybe changing your hair could also change the whole look this is an outfit that's a little bit different for me but one that I wear 
a lot, just not with a satin skirt. So I thought, let's give it a go. So we've gone for the big navy scrunchie, this giant oversized tee, which actually has, I don't know if you can really see, but it's got like a print on the back, which has the blues in, which is why I thought it went quite nicely. You've got a little blue detail here as well. Got this little bag on that kind of goes with the skirt a bit. And then we've just gone for the black Doc Martin boots as well, just for like a little bit of a feminine, but not feminine vibe. So we've got femininity with like the scrunchie and the satin, but then you've got kind of a masculine vibe going on with the other pieces. It's quite nice. Again, a really nice one for wearing just kind of out and about on a weekend maybe if you're going to like a market or something it'd be really cute but I quite like it I think it's just quite cool and simple and again I would wear this with like cream jeans ordinarily but I thought let's try it with a satin skirt and see what we think but that's it for today's video guys I hope you enjoyed seeing a few different ways that I've been wearing a satin skirt recently and will be wearing into the spring and summer hopefully it gave you loads of inspiration whether you are someone who maybe owns pieces like this or you're looking to maybe you know invest in a few new ways to style your satin skirt all of the links, as I said before, will be down in the description. But if you have any other styling ideas that you want me to do, maybe you want me to try and style for like a wedding or a holiday, or maybe it's like you just want, you know, just styling advice on an oversized t-shirt or something, let me know in the comments and I'll add it to my little list because I love making what you guys want to see. So would love some advice on that part. But hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you'll get a little ping every time I upload. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, guys.